today we will discuss on sensors and platforms we know in case of remote sensing sensor is a very important tool without the sensor we cannot perform the remote sensing operations so first we will start with the introduction what is the function of sensor we know in case of remote sensing we have to basically measurement measure the electromagnetic energy by the sensors so sensors in this case can be used to detect something or to measure something in case of remote sensing purpose we can broadly classify the sensors into two different forms one is called the active sensor another is basically called the passive sensor what is active sensor if you see the definition of the active sensor according to this book you will find that active sensors have their own source of energy that means in case of active sensors we have not to feed the energy sources externally but in case of passive sensors we have to feed some energy sources from the externally so that is the basic difference between the active sensors and passive sensors if you see this particular figure this figure will tell you the story regarding the types of passive sensors and the active sensors if you see the passive sensors there are many types they have given gamma ray, gamma ray uh, spectrometer there are aerial camera video camera all these things are basically types of passive sensors in case of active sensors you will see the classification you can easily see the classification that is uh, they have given the example for the la laser scanner radar altimeter these are the examples for the active sensors so we have seen the classification regarding passive and active sensor and some examples are given now for this particular lecture we will stretch our discussion only today with the passive sensors so we will start with the passive sensors we have to basically so now we will see the classifications of the passive sensor uh, before going to the classifications we have to remember one thing passive sensors should collect some energy source from the externally so if you see the classification first uh, first classification they are talking about that is called the gamma, uh, gamma ray spectrometer what is the function of the spectrometer spectrometer means that that will measure the spectral efficiency from that is coming via the gamma ray so that is the basic function of the gamma ray spectrometer next if you see that is the aerial camera camera is basically a part of the image sensing mechanism in case of uh, remote sensing applications aerial camera means depending upon the mounting mechanism and depending upon the angling mechanism we can classify the camera that is called the aerial camera next if you see obviously uh, we are talking about the image sensing and all these parts image sensing means you have to capture the video you have to analyze the image otherwise you cannot classify which image will tell you something about which type of story so for this reason video camera is a very important part regarding this particular passive sensor so video camera requirement should be there that is uh, the figure is related uh, they have captured something using this particular video camera and we have shown as one figure that is the purpose to use the video camera if you see the third classification regarding the passive sensor they have given that is called the multi spectral scanner that means the purpose is same on the same that means you have to scan something but multi spectral means there should be some dimensional multi dimensional approach to find out the spectral efficiency that is the purpose to use the multi spectral scanner in case of remote sensing if you see the next one that is called the imaging spectrometer that means using some gray laser gray level scanner or the edge detection mechanism we can basically analyze the uh, characteristics of the image so uh, now if you see this particular figure the picture is uh, picture is telling about something uh, so what is the motto of to use this picture this particular spectral if you see the spectral curves that is the measure depending on the chemical composition of the material this particular picture will tell you this image basically is tell you about the spectrometer data thereof can be used to determine the mineral composition of the surface that is an example next one obviously thermal scanner should be there what is the function of the thermal scanner thermal scanners measure the thermal data in the range of 10 to 14 micrometer i am telling about the range the range is also very important in case of in case of wavelengths measurement in the range uh, are directly related to the object's temperature so if you want to sense some temperature you have if you then you have to use some thermal scanner uh, scanner mechanism uh, next one is basically the radiometer uh, that is a very simple device in case of for the electronics engineer we know the basic principle of the radiometer some em energy should be measured or the em em wave should be used uh, to measure the uh, range in case of radiometric wavelength so this is the purpose to use the radiometer uh, 
that's all for today next class we will try to illustrate on the active sensor and the classifications of the active sensor goodbye